Hello everyone, my name is Ashani and I'm a member of Arjuna School Alumni Associations. I'm also an online student of Andhra Bakasa. Today, I'm going to talk about my trip to Thailand. And in today's video, we will go towards the cultural side of Thailand. Mostly, we are going to talk about Sanctuary of Truth. And oh, this video is just part one. There's going to be a part two coming out as well. Day two, 26th of December, 2022. In the morning, I woke up, ate um, breakfast, got ready and headed off to the sanctuary of truth. Well, when we hear the name, it just sounds like a legendary thing. Could be sounding like a museum. But no, it is not. It is moreover an architecture made from, from the people of Thailand, only with hands, not using any machinery. Well, technically, tools. They use tools such as hammers and various other tools. But let's talk about Sanctuary of Truth. What is Sanctuary of Truth? Well, Sanctuary of Truth is the place where you get to know the seven truths of life, which we will go to later of this video. Sanctuary of Truth was just beautiful, amazing architectures and whatnot. The architectures were like, wow, I have no words for it. Amazing, fabulous, fantastic, whatnot. Finding words for the for, to describe the beauty of Sanctuary of Truth is literally impossible. It is a good comp competition to Indian architecture. But the thing is, when I went there, I did not expect or nobody would be expecting to see such a beautiful architecture from Thailand. Because mostly whenever we go and search everywhere, we find that Thailand is a place just to party and beach and all of that. Nobody, almost, there are very less people who talk about Thailand's culture and its architecture. After all of this, we found our guide, Jess. Oh, and in Thailand's thing, they have many slots. They have Hindi slot which is has a, a specific timing so they have hindi language chinese thai english japanese and also spanish so we can opt for which one we want and we go in that with the ticket after that as soon as we enter sanctuary of truth the it's so mesmerizing to watch it's no, not much of colors. It's just the brown wood. It's made out of wood. Everything's made out of wood. So it's just the brown wood. But it was so beautiful. And there are many gods that Indians also worship, which are like Lakshmi, Vishnu, and Brahma. And also, Thailand is a big f thing for Buddhist monks. They all, they, they have an amazing... Uh, place in their heart for Buddhism and for Buddha especially. So in the Sanctuary of Truth, as I said, we learned about the seven truths of life. The first truth. Who are we and where have we come from? Isn't this, this question is there in everyone's mindset? Who are we? Are we monkeys? Or are we some weird creature? We're humans, but from where have we come? These questions are always there. The sanctuary of truth or the first truth says that it doesn't talk much about science. It says we as a species that have come from the revolutionary or after animals. We are a very different species which are born with an intelligent mind. 
we can find solutions to things we can talk we can walk upright we can know we have feel we can sense everything we can voice out our thing our thoughts and we have an amazing intelligent brain we are that kind of of species well many people think that we've come from we've come from monkeys and everything yes we have but that's the science part of it with thailand or the first truth says is that god has made us they believe that there's only one united god and all the others are just the ones made from them but they they believe is just one god do they have a name to that no they only keep the god's name as god that's it every single time in the every single time in the entire time when he, uh, in the entire um tour when the tour guide was taking us the mesmerizing beauty is amazing but coming back to the first truth we are made from god god has made us without god we would have never been here we would have never been talking i would have never been talking right now you all wouldn't have been watching this video if god did not make us it also talks about the cycle of life which we'll come back to later but we there's only one god the divine mighty power and we are we are basically the creatures made from god we are the structures that god has come and made alive we are the species that have a brain and a mouth which can talk now when we go back to the second truth of life the second truth of life talks about death sounds something like a scary concept right if someone you you hear you hear someone saying i feel like dying they think it's very simple to say that but no once they read think it they will not use it again because just to say i feel like dying is very hard it takes a lot of courage and when you say it just as a simple thing like you said as a casual thing it is not at all casual death is a very very hard thing but nevertheless it is natural and every one of us will have to face it the second truth of life says that we all are scared from death or moreover some people are not who actually say the say that i want to die very simply and easily that is wrong death is a natural thing it will have to come in everybody's life we'll have to face it we cannot we can skip anything we can skip our studies we can skip eating we can skip drinking we can we can skip anything but we can never skip death and it the second truth also talks about the life cycle does anybody know there are many people in this world who think that the life cycle is fake it is not it is entirely not fake the life cycle is a very vast subject you grow and you grow and you grow one fine day you die you will have to because it is natural and nobody can skip it not only that it also talks about how many lives are there for one atma that there are actually in after one one lakh lives or after one lakh times you've been born you get the human's life is what the second truth states you have gotten the time to be a human after 
a lakh times you've been born after this life that we all have right now as humans we will die one day and after that we will go on to a new life but we won't remember the past we will go to a new life we might be born as humans if we did amazing things but we can also be born as many things like an animal also or a thing so you don't know what your next life is neither do you know what your previous life is this will continue and continue and continue this is what the second truth states i wanted to add something actually there are a few people who want to who pray god so much that they they give him an amazing place in his in their heart they they think he's a me they pray god like 24 by 7 though those are the people who will get moksha if i tell someone what moksha is or the people in my age if i tell them what moksha is they won't know because they won't understand moksha is basically when you come out of the cycle of life you come you the cycle that you have that rebirth again and then a new life again and again and again nope you will definitely have to go through it but if you get moksha or if god gives you moksha that means you will go to god in the swarga lokam and after you go to god in the swarga lokam you get moksha that means you won't have to come back and live again and again and you will come out of the cycle i'll see you guys in part 2 a sanctuary of truth there is a lot more to learn thank you